Hello everybody, welcome back to Rain Gaming. Alright, we're going to talk about a couple of things. We're going to talk about the uh, Shadow of Mordor, middle of Shadow of Mordor, benchmark, and we're going to talk about the required or the um, recommended maximum specs for this. Now as you can see, this is all running on ultra or as high as it will go. Uh, lighting quality is only on high, but everything else is on ultra with the ultra texture pack installed. And what they're saying is to be able to do this, you need 6 gig of VRAM, alright? So unless you've got a Titan Black or a 6 gig 780, that's it. I mean, even if you look at things like the uh, the Titan Z, okay, that's two chips, both with 6 gig, so that one would work. Um, the, the Radeon 290X uh, 295 times 2X Super Heat Machine, um, I can't think what it's called, but you know, the one that's the quick called, has 8 gig of VRAM, but that's two lots of four. So that isn't 6 gig of VRAM, that's 2 lots of 4, so that is different. So basically, you've got the Titan Z, the Titan Black, or a 780. Um, all very expensive cards, the 780 is not too bad now, um, and it's being discontinued, so this would make me think there is going to be a higher memory um, 980 on the way. Anyway, um, onto this benchmark. You see here, uh, 11 minimum, maximum 96 at the moment, so, oh there you go, it's just jumped up. This was the first run, cold machine, it's only been on 10 minutes. Um, and when we look at the average frames per second, what are we getting? 95.21, there you go. Um, now this is running at 1080p, uh, we're not running any higher at the moment. And the reason we're doing this is I want to compare it to what the next generation of consoles are doing. Uh, speaking of the next generation of consoles, if the Xbox One and the 360 can make a game like this look almost the same it isn't as good and I've seen people putting things up about PCs and why would you bother getting a PC when they'll run it as good but they don't if you look closely textures are off the individual blades of grass and stuff like that um, and that isn't the be all and end all of games as we know it's how they play and how they make you feel and if you're enjoying yourself but if they can do it why the fuck do you need a graphics card that costs twice as much as a next generation console in itself along with the rest of your PC to be able to run this at maximum specs. So we've got this one, Watch Dogs as well. Watch Dogs needed a stupid amount of VRAM um, and the Evil Within apparently is as well. Now I haven't seen the Evil, the Evil Within running on a PC, um, I've seen it running on next gen consoles and it looks beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, sorry there we go again 92 but that said maximum frames per second 514 and my other point about this benchmark not being terribly accurate to be honest um, anyway yeah so the evil within it looks gorgeous so you have to say it, it looks fantastic on the next gen of consoles um, and if they can do it you know these they are very very low level PCs I know it works differently with consoles and all the rest of it and this isn't what the video is about I'm not slagging consoles off I love my Xbox and my PlayStation it's just you know I just wanted to use that as a basis to compare um, I don't know what resolution and I don't know the frames per second on the consoles I doubt they're running at 1080p and I doubt they're running 60 frames a second if they are I take my hat off to them because someone somewhere who works for Microsoft and Sony is a wizard um, and they've actually managed to do something quite magical um, so basically on the 980 with 4 gig of VRAM this is the super clocked edition so uh, and we have got it running uh, boosting up to about um, boosting roughly to about 1500 and the memory is running at 76 uh, effective you can see on ultra this game benchmarks perfectly and when you play it it plays like a dream there's no stuttering nothing like that at all so 60 gig VRAM guys really I think you really should be better optimizing rather than pushing and pushing and pushing it's like just putting a bigger engine in a car to make it go faster don't do that just optimize what you've got anyway thanks for listening to me <laughs> a bit of a rant but there you go um, any comments chuck them underneath if you like it give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all very very soon